nothing more Don't want the middle Or the one before I don't desire A complicated past I would love that will last Say that you love me Say I'm the one Don't kiss and hug me And then try to run I don't do drama My tears don't fall fast I want a love that will last I don't want just a memory Give me forever Don't even think about Say goodbye Cause I
today we will receive God's grace. Another person to share with, grow with, change with, be joyful with, and to stand as one when we have trials and tri tribulations enter our lives. It is therefore fitting that we should on this occasion begin by asking for God's blessing on this marriage. Please take a moment to meditate as we hear the Lord's Prayer. give these two that they should be married today. is a joyous occasion. It is connected in our thoughts with the charm of love, the warmth of home, and is all the pleasant as being one of those most important events of our lives. It is unity. It is the most significant and binding covenant known in human beings. Keith and Marcus, let us charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be in mutual consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and in affection. It is the duty of each of you to find the greatest joy in the company of others, to remember that your love this day must remain undivided for a lifetime. It is your duty, Keith and Marcus, to be a considerate, tender, faithful, and loving husband to support, guide, and cherish each other in prosperity and in trouble, to thoughtfully and carefully enlarge the place that it holds in your life, to constantly show to each the tokens of your affection, to shelter each other from danger, and to love each other with an unchangeable love. It is your duty, Keith and Marcus, to be a considerate and faithful, loving partner, to comfort, to guide, and to cherish each other in prosperity and in trouble, to give each other the unfailing evidences of your affection, to continue making the place each other holds in your heart broader and deeper, to support each other, to value each other, to work with each other, to make your marriage the very best it can be. I call your attention to the seriousness of this decision that you have made today and the covenant you are about to declare before God. 
The vows you are about to take are not to be taken lightly without careful thought and examination. For in them you are committing yourselves exclusively to one another for as long as you both shall live. Marcus and Keith have written their own vows that they will share at this time. I asked a really good friend of mine to write a poem for me to start off my vows. Her name is Frances Watson, and she's from New York. She's one of my best friends, and she did this for me. The poem is called They Can You. It basically sums up everything that I want to say to Marcus. As a young black man, my gait, nuance, and voice, and desire to express love in my natural manner led to rejection and homelessness. Those experiences bruised me, made me stumble, and I wept for a free soul. Goal setting became my anchor to survive, yet the achievements weren't enough. I yearned for more, more of what? My lips said no to false commitments by others, unsure why. I knew I wanted you before I met you, Marcus. When the world denied a place for me to be, your existence beckoned me to come here. I knew you were waiting somewhere for me to touch, to rub, to kiss, to love you. A twist of faith brought us together. Time has shown me that my one kiss was meant for you, Marcus. Your honey lady kisses fill me with joy. When I put my muscular arms around you, your physiological response is breathtakingly powerful. Let us explore higher planes of ecstasy in ways that are nobody's business but ours. I want you to commit myself to you, Marcus, and share unfettered moments with the man who it was my friend, became my man, then became my lover, and now my husband for life. Mm -hmm. Marcus, I wanted to say to you, the first day that I met you, that I saw you, you absolutely took my breath. And I knew then that my nervousness just prepared me for this. You are probably the kindest, most gentle soul. And even though you get on me about little things and we fuss and, and all of that, I appreciate that because I know I have the one person in my life that means so much to me. If I am lucky enough to have the bliss and love like my parents had in their marriage for over 30 years, then I will be a happy, happy man. So with all my friends and the people here support me, my JSU family, my Atlanta family, my New York family, I want to say to you that I love you and you take my breath away each and every day and I'm honored to be yours. Loving you is like breathing. Meeting you was the first time that I met you. It was it was an eye-awakening experience for me, something that I didn't know what that was going to mean. I didn't know what the future was, but I did know this. And I knew you was gonna be a part of my life. I knew that I was gonna love you, and, and then I knew that. I was going to marry you. You made me realize that I don't need to worry about other people's thoughts and feelings. And what would make other people happy instead of? Living my life for me instead of for someone else. Now I thought that something that should have been something that I would have been able to do to myself or do for myself. But you open up things in me. Lord. <laughs> that I didn't know was really there. <laughs> to be able to love another human being such as yourself. 
to worry about anything that happens with you. My mind, my thought processes is always about Keith and making sure Keith is okay and making sure Keith is all right, making sure Keith is happy. And I know you do the same thing in, in return for me. It's not something that we even have to try to do. It's just effortlessly. And you just turned so many things around for me that I could never even begin to tell you. But you are everything that I need. You're everything that I want. I'm going to love you. But I'm going to cherish you forever. I'm going to protect you from whatever I need to protect you from. You're my best friend. You're my lover. You're my everything. And Keith, thank you for coming into my life and waking up those things that I didn't know need to be with. So I promise you that I will be there for you every step of the way, regardless of whatever the problem is, what the situation is, through sickness, through death, which I'm going to live forever as long as it can anyway. But <laughs> I, uh, man, this is not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> but I want to be there for whatever you need me to do, and I vow to be the best husband that I can ever be. And anything that you think that I need to, 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 to that I'm not realizing, I know that you will tell me, and I know by verse I will do the same thing for you. But just know that I'm always here for you, no matter what. And there's only one man for me, and that is you. We can leave that that far. <laughs> Mark said I couldn't make jokes. <laughs> I think I gave you two. We will now exchange rings to have the rings. Could you bow your heads in prayer? Oh God, our Father, we come in the name of Jesus. God, we know that these rings are just a symbol. But for us, God, they are a symbol of an everlasting love that never ends. Unbreakable, unchangeable, unmovable. No matter what happens in our lives, the storms may come and rise, but these rings will last. And so God, we thank you today for marriage. We thank you for bringing people together to love because you gave one commandment, a new one, that we love each other as we love God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Repeat after me, please. Keith. You will now exchange rings as a symbol of a lifelong commitment and abiding love, which you and your husband have promised each other. Keith, please place the ring on Marcus's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Marcus, would you place the ring on Keith's finger? Repeat after me, please. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness, yeah. Right now, the couple has chosen a ceremony of sand together. Sand involved. 
of both partners pouring sand into a single container, symbolizing their lifelong commitment in the joining of their two lives. We all share in this experience by witnessing it. Would you say, I will share this moment, audience? Eternal God, help Marcus and he to fulfill the promises today that they have made to each other and reflect your steadfast love and their commitment to each other. God, grant them kindness and patience, affection and understanding, happiness and contentment. May their family and friends continue to support them in difficult days so that their love for each other may continue to grow as long as they both shall live. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine, O Lord, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. If you guys would face me, your hands. Keith and Marcus, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God and before these witnesses who are assembled here today, by the power vested in me by God and the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you married husbands. You may now kiss each other. Even though y'all started with <laughs> <laughs> Friends and family, it is my honor to introduce to you the very first time Keith and Marcus Kennard Webb. You are duly married. And white, there's so much in between, like a rainbow in the sky, crying to be seen when I open. Every precious thing 